everyone, welcome to my channel. On this cold Canadian morning, we're having a spell of cold weather, so bear with me. My fingers are kind of frozen. So today I have the KK13. You're saying, what is it? Well, it comes in this case. I'm going to take it out. And when I show it to you, you are going to think I am showing you the Parrot Anafi. Watch this. See that? Doesn't it look like the Parrot Anafi? Well, that's because it is the Parrot Anafi. This is a $700 US drone. But the drone I'm going to show you today looks identical. Watch this. This is the Dragonfly KK13 and it is around 176 US dollars. Big price difference. So in this hand, I have the Paradinafi, and this hand, I have the Dragonfly. They are similar in many ways. Check this out. It's a close-up view. Check that out. You can see that the Paradinafi here is longer than the Dragonfly. Now, just because it looks like the Paradinafi, is it as good as the Paradinafi? Well, no. It's a budget drone, but you know, it's pretty cool because it has the camera on the front that can look uh, 90 degrees up and 90 degrees down. Not too many drones have that and this one has it. So that's the claim to fame on this. You can put a micro SD card and record on it. It does record at uh, 2K for video and photos I believe are 4K. When I'm showing the video uh, segments and the photo segments I'll put below exactly what they are. You get about 25 minutes of flight time with the battery and the range is about a thousand meters but for video transmission back to your phone it's only about 500 meters. Now it is a really dull cold day so the battery performance is going to be affected because it's cold out and uh, the dullness is going to make the video look maybe a little dull so take that in consideration when you see the end result. All right let's go fly this. I have my dragonfly here and I'm going to power it on. It's two pushes of the button so one push and then a second push hold it down and we should see some blue lights. There we go get a little sound then I'll put it down. Next, we'll power on our controller. A nice little blue light happening there, bluish white. If you can see the power from the controller and the power from the drone on the controller display, then you know you're connected. Next thing you want to do is take your phone and connect your phone's Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi coming from the drone. You can see over here, I have a picture of my phone display and I'm showing that the Wi-Fi is connected. The app you're going to use to connect your phone to the drone is called Swift GPS. You can see it on my display screen here. So I'll tap that and I should go right into the app and the drone and see what the drone sees. So if you look at my phone display, I'll walk you around the icons on the screen. I'll just tap it so they come alive. On the left, you have all your normal flight icons and you see a little box at the bottom left. I'll just tap that and across the bottom, you're gonna see some options you have for your flight. Lens reversal, one click away. Oh, it keeps disappearing, GPS, follow, waypoint, circle flight, VR. So I'm gonna use those in this flight. And on the right hand side, you have your take a photo and start your video. Next thing you have to do before you fly is a compass calibration. So on this model, I believe the compass calibration is basically take your two joysticks, pull them down and to the right. So let's go down and to the right. And then I just pick it up, spin it three times horizontal and three times vertical like this. And listen for beeps. Once, twice, three times, I should hear a beep. There we go and put the nose up and do the same thing once twice three times you see that big indicator light on the bottom it's pretty bright there we go so it should be done we're all set to fly next thing you want to do is take your two joysticks and do a gyro calibration that's to get it level and horizontal you can see my drone's not really level but i'll do it anyway so you take these pull them down and to the left like that and there we go and uh, you're done you're ready to fly it should start getting gps Right now on my screen, I don't know if you can see it, it says I have 10 GPS. All right, so let's see how this little drone flies in the cold. Let's pull our little joysticks out. Starts up and let's see how good my compass calibration was. Let's take it up. Ooh, you know, it's almost quiet like a parrot and affy too. It does have an altitude hold system in it. So you've got to hold it at an altitude for a few seconds and it will stay stable like that. There we go. Hey, that is. Okay, guys, I got to tell you this right now. This drone is super, super quiet. I mean, this is really quiet. All right, really quick. This is the video. What's it look like? Moving backwards. This is me wandering around. Do I look fluid? How does the video look? Wandering around here. <laughs> this is just so a lot of people want to know the frames per second. Does it look smooth or does it look rough? So you can tell right here looking. How does that look? Let's check out the camera really quick so you can see video shooting to the front. There's the camera looking up, looking up. So I'm going to break it down so it can look at me. There we go. I'm looking over it. How's that? All right. Now I'm going to bring the camera looking down and I'll lift it up at the same time. 
It makes a beepy sound. It does move really slow, but it's got like a beepy sound to it. Okay, it's coming down now. There we go, there's the camera looking down. Down, straight down. I'll try out the GPS follow, I'll tap on that. Okay, it's in GPS follow. Here's the GPS follow as I'm moving sideways. It doesn't keep the same distance. It's coming close to me. It's kind of scary. Stay back there. I'll tell you right now, the GPS follow is hit and miss. It kind of works and then it doesn't work. So it comes really close and then it stops and it doesn't want to go anywhere and then it comes. And it even flies sideways to get me when I move sideways. It's kind of weird. So when I walk this way, it's, <laughs> it's still following me, which is interesting. Oh, now it's going backwards. And now it's going over there. Now it's going ahead of me. So I don't know this GPS follow. Anyways, maybe it's my phone. Here, I'll, I'll come at it. Anything? Oh, now it's going backwards. Yeah, now it's going backwards. Let's tap my screen. Where's the circle flight? Hit that one. It says put the radius. I'll put a radius of five. Okay. And what's it going to do? So it went back five and now it's going... Oh, it's going that way. Okay, I didn't know which way it was going to go for a second. So I'm going to get in the center. <laughs> it, thinks, it thinks the center is over here. Alright, this is what the drone looks like after wiping out from the circle flight into the ground. It didn't like the circle flight. Gimbal still works though. Oh, it was working. Let's see. I'll just repower it off and power it back on, see if I can bring it back to life. Alright, you can see the dragonfly is looking a little disheveled. It did thunder in and do a few cartwheels on that circle flight. So uh, let's see if I can power it back on and see if it comes back to life. Let's try it. Power, power. Do we have some power left? There we go. See, let's see if the gimbal still works. Gimbals are always a little bit, uh, you know, they're a little, they suffer from accidents, crashes. They are kind of fragile. It turns on, the controller works, and the Wi-Fi works. Let's see if it even uh, calibrates. Once, twice, three times, and then up, once. Oh, I didn't hear a beep. There we go. And then uh, once, twice, three times, and hear a beep. There we go. So that's all good. Let's do the gyro calibration. Fingers crossed. And uh, let's see if the props start. Ho ho! Let's see if it goes up. Look at that. It's still alive. It could still fly. All right. So <laughs> since I've got grass hanging off it, it's pretty beat up. I'm just going to fly it around and take some photos and video. And uh, you can check out what it looks like. So I'm walking over here looking for my drone and thundered into the ground over here someplace. Again it crashed. The GPS just goes out and then it takes off on its own. So it's over here. It did another cartwheel. <laughs> there it is over here. Let's check it out. Oh, the battery flew off this time. There we go. Hey, I still got power left on the battery. And here's my little drone over here. Well, that's not looking very good, is it? No, 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 no. That needs a little bit of tender, loving care. Oh yeah, now it's starting up again. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Look at my little guy. It's like he really needs some medical or drone assistance. He's not looking too good. So you can see right there that last crash pretty much ripped the camera gimbal right out. It's just hanging and there's even wires torn off. It's, uh, 
it's pretty much toast. But look at the drone is still live. It's still it's still wanting to work. But it's uh, yeah, it's toast. That's what happens. So now you're asking, what are my final impressions on this drone? Well, hmm, I do hundreds of drone reviews a year on budget drones to very expensive drones. This one, at least the model sent to me, it has a GPS problem because when it did the GPS circle fly, it just thundered into the ground, took off on its own. And when I was flying it to take videos and photos, just flying through the air, the GPS just went wonky and it went and thundered into the ground. And there was nothing I could do about it. So with that said, <laughs> so with that said, I'm going to put links below to where you can find this product on the Cafago website. And if it's something you want, well, then <laughs> go check it out. I'm sure I'm sure you're probably sitting there scratching your head going, this drone is confusing me because I don't think the gimbal is supposed to hang down like that. That's what you get when you watch my channel. It's honest reviews. So this review didn't turn out so well. All I can say is maybe I got a defective drone or whatever. I do have the skills to pilot a drone, that's for certain. But uh, yeah, this one here just didn't want to uh, make use of my skills. It wanted to do its own thing. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on this drone, uh, I will answer them as best I can. Doesn't it look like an eyeball sticking out, just hanging there? I'm going to put an unboxing next because, you know what, I have to be fair. Maybe it was just my drone that was just a piece of crap. And uh, maybe if you buy this product or if you already own this drone, post below and tell me if yours works well because this one didn't work very well. All right, check out the unboxing and uh, leave comments below. I just love to hear what you have to say. All right, guys, get you in the next video. Bye. And now a super quick unboxing. You can see that the drone comes in a really nice case and there is a strap inside to use it as a shoulder bag. So uh, let's put this down and open it up and see what's inside. Opening up the case, we see we have, well, the drone and the controller here. It looks like you can get two spare batteries. Mine only came with one battery. In the top portion, we have the shoulder strap, instructions for the drone, and instructions for the app. Here we have our spare props in this bag, a micro Phillips screwdriver and a USB cable. Let's take a quick look at the drone itself. This drone looks very much like the Parrot and Naffy. Let me just get rid of this here plastic covering. There we go. Now we can see it nicely. Same idea with the brushless motors and props as the Parrot and Naffy. You know, not the same motors, but similar, you know, to look the same. Little indicator lights on the front and indicator lights back here. And the arms do fold out like this. It's going to look like a dragonfly. Looking at the top of the drone, we have the battery release right here. I press that and the battery comes off. Also, this is your battery level and you can see that by pressing this button and you can see how much power is remaining. Looking to one side, you can see, maybe you can see it right here. That's how you charge the battery. It's a USB-C cable, nothing else on this side. Let's check out the other side and we see nothing on this side. Looking at the back, we see nothing. And then coming down, we see a hole right here for a micro USB card to record the video going along the bottom. Nothing. This looks like an LED light. That looks like an optical flow. I can't see a lens in there. And then coming to the front, we have our camera. Let's take a look at that. So we see our camera in the front does have an access to go side to side. So if your drone is flopping this way and this way, the camera can stay straight. And I would assume as well, if your drone is flopping this way and this way, the camera stays straight. There is no third axis to go side to side if your drone is moving like this. But that's not too bad. Two axis. Let's fold up the drone again because we're going to weigh it. The battery is in here. So let's see how much it weighs. Let's put it on my little scale down here. See if I can. I'll put it upside down. Let's see. What are we at? 356 grams. Taking a quick look at the battery, just press here and pull backwards. Here's our battery and flipping it upside down. We can see it's a 7.6 volt at 3000 milliamp hours. Next, we have the remote control here and everything seems to be nicely labeled. I'm looking at all the buttons. They all make sense to me what they do. Are there buttons in the front? Yes, there are. There we go. So you have something here. It's a dial for speed and you have a dial for your camera gimbal to move the camera up and down. These arms pop out so it's easier to hold in your hand. And now it's a nice big controller like this. It is rechargeable, so it has to be charged up. We'll see if there's any power. Yes, I do have some power right there. So you can see the nice pretty screen. There it is. And there you have it. This ends my review of the drone. If you have any questions on this drone, post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to buy this drone that looks like a Paradinafi, the dragonfly here, well, I will put links below. Check them out. It's probably on sale. There's probably a discount. And more importantly, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. Stay tuned for many more drone reviews to come. Take care.